John King here for MAJunior.co, standing beside the now Lonsdale heavyweight champion of the world, Stuart Austin. How does it feel, Stuart? Feels pretty good. Feels uh, pretty good. It's hard to absorb at the moment. I didn't know I was fighting for the title until like this morning, um, so it's, it's quite exciting. How did that, you know, obviously you were supposed to fight Paul Taylor, Paul pulls out with, with a stomach bug and, you know, it seemed you, was off the, you were off the card until this morning. How, how did that mess with your head that you, you were going from a prelim fight to fighting for the Lonsdale heavyweight belt? It was pretty demotivating, to be honest, but uh, I know when I, I almost, you know, almost wasn't fighting at all. It's really demoralising you right down. Then I got an opportunity and I saw it and I just took it. I'm, I'm going to take, I'm, I'm here to fight, you know, I don't train to to just turn up and stand around and watch the fights. I'm here to fight, so I, I kind of jumped at the opportunity. And uh, in the first round, you know, it's you know Tom lands a few hard shots. It seemed that it was his round. Any point in that round when you were here, it's all close to being finished. Yeah, he rocked me. I'd be worried, you know, like he, he put me on the floor. And he's a big, powerful guy. But uh, I was I was well aware of what was going on. I, I feel like I defended quite well when I was underneath. I didn't take any unnecessary risk. I tried to sweep him, didn't quite ma- hit, hit. But you know, when I ended up catching him, I think I ducked under a shot and caught his leg, got on top at the end. You know, I hurt him and I finished the round in a dominant position. I lost the round, but I felt mentally I was winning the war. You know, a, a, an exciting first round, obviously. Uh, coming into the second round, your coach, your, one of your main coaches, Brad Pickett, seemed, uh, you know, he, he was very, uh, very excited, very, he was moving around a lot, trying to get you to win. How important of a coach is he to you? Brad's been really, um, really instrumental. He's, he's, um, he's helped me like adapt to my own game. So like he's helped me to put the the tools that I've been, got off other coaches and put them together a lot. Um, so he's he's really helped a lot. I, I just them fine tuning things. You know the amount of his experience has got, and he's helping pass it on to me. So I'm not having to learn the hard way, even though I seem to like to. <laughs> You know, uh, Bama's next car, Bama 24, Dublin uh, in Ireland, uh, sorry, February in Dublin. Are you looking to be on that card at all? Obviously, Mark Gobby is a, a possible opponent. You versus Gobby are on that card. What do you think of that? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like I've, I've said to a few other guys, like, you know, if we've got a fight, I'll fight Mark. But me and him are very good friends. We train together for a real long time. So, you know, like, I'll have to kind of take it as it comes with that. Like, you know, there's lots of guys out there. There's uh, Ruben Wolf is another guy who was supposed to be fighting. He's the guy I stepped him for and you know I'd like the opportunity to fight for him fight him as well. Um so yeah, there's, there's, there's options out there. You know, the, the, the other two people in the type picture, Godbeer and Ruben Wolf. how do you think you, you stand against them guys? Do you think you'll beat them? Uh, me and Mark is, is a toss-up. Like, I, I'll be honest, me and Mark have gone hundreds of rounds, literally hundreds and hundreds of rounds. I won some, he won some, you know, he's, he's a bait beast. He's dangerous to anyone in the world, you know. When he starts throwing, you know, you have to respect his power. Um, his combinations, he's super aggressive, but you know, I've got a lot of tools that I bring to the table. He knows exactly what I bring, you know. Uh, Ruben Wolf is more of a, a bit more of a question mark, you know. I'd have to, I haven't watched, I've only watched one of his fights before, so I'd have to sit down and, and analyse him a bit more. What are you going to do now? You're going to go out, uh, maybe have a drink for something to eat? I've no idea, but I'm, I'm going on holiday tomorrow, so I'm, I've, I've better, better, uh, Where are you going? I'm a bit too hungover. I'm going, I think we're going to Berlin, so it should be good, just little. Little break in that, probably in the rain. All right, good luck. I'll have an, enjoy all the minutes. Thank you very much. Cheers. Awesome.